So I admit it, I do feel a little bit like a broken record because each month I do a market report and I've been saying again and again that it is a seller's market, that there is less inventory, but month after month it continues to happen. In fact, it, with this market report, we're looking back at February and comparing it to February in 2020. We are currently at a 1.1 absorption rate. So that means there are 1.1 months worth of inventory on the market, where the year prior it was in a balanced market at, I think it was 4.6. So we have shifted heavily to a seller's market. It still continues to be a great time to sell. We're seeing a lot of multiple offers coming in. Uh, we're also seeing a tremendous increase in the number of buyers coming to the area. So we, we saw in the month of February a little bit of an increase of homes that went on the market for sale. So it went up by 2.3%. Uh, but the number of homes that accepted a contract, that increased to 34% over the February before. So there's a lot of buyers coming to town, a lot of activity. Uh, we also saw a little uptick in the interest rate, but we're still expecting it to stay low, about 3%. Um, we think that's gonna stay at that rate uh, for the year. The sales price has increased as well. So the median sales price has increased by 19.3% but the average sales price has increased by 23.5%. We did see a decrease in the number of days on market, and that's interesting because a few months ago, we saw an increase in the number of days on market. Now, I figured that even though there was a lot of sales going on the last few months, that the days on market increased because we had these longer close cycles. We had uh, people missing uh, from work for or the underwriters or, 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 or at the law offices, so there was a lot more pressure put on uh, staff to complete the closings. Now it seems maybe we're all caught up and the days on market has uh, dropped down again. And in February over February, we saw a drop in the number of days on market. So I do feel like this broken record because I'm going to say it again, it's a great time to buy, it's a great time to sell. If you have a particular question about any of the areas in Hilton Head and Bluffton, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Just shoot me a text or give me a call and I'll answer all your questions. Thanks so much.